right, here's the vacuum routing diagram for the 1MZ FE Toyota V6 first generation. It's the first generation of the V6 which was uh, made in 94 and introduced into the Toyota Camry and a few other vehicles. Um, you can see uh, your, your vacuum is routed to you through your steel ports then back to this valve and then route it to this steel valve, that's that's your fuel pressure regulator I'm, I'm assuming and then that is you the can fuel come pressure. over here and then there's another switching valve here uh, which goes to and this is all routed properly because this engine runs good um, let me see which one routes to the Asus. It's like Asus is the top one. Is it, is it? It's this one right here, and then this routes to the main tube for vacuum. Um, where do, where is this going right here? What is this? Oh, okay, that's your fuel pressure line. I mean your fuel rail line. Um, and then your other vacuum lines. What are these, your water jackets? These go to your water ports, which go where? Underneath to heat up your, uh, shit, I made a video about the damn thing. Um, uh, idle air, huh? Yeah, idle air control valve. It's uh, heated through your water jackets. Uh, we got our marks from the video. Right, and then let's go to the top of the throttle body and do that for your vacuum diagram. As you can see where they're routed to. There's one coming off that va that switching this valve. This is the EGR switching valve right here. This is the EGR valve. They're coming over here to this vacuum switch. So you got three vacuum switches here that I see. And then this must be a separate pressure regulator right here. Or where? where? Right Down there? Here. Right here. Hmm. Something, but yeah, it looks the internal. Of, that's the end of the line. There's nothing going on. <coughs> on a fuel rail. Well, I've never had to replace those yet. And then you got two vacuum lines that route back from here. I think they're from here down to the power steering assist. Yeah, there's one right here. They both go to the power steering assist. I don't think it matters which one is which on the power steering assist. Yeah, and then there's two lines there. Also, got two running down here. Where? These two. Where they go? They're running down. One goes to this little... That's a diaphragm in there. That is for your idle up, I guess. Yeah, that goes That's right a, here. idle up override or something. Oh, diaphragm. And then one goes down right here to your vacuum canister. Vacuum canister's right there. And then from your vacuum canister out, it goes to a steel line there and then I think there's one on the bottom of the vacuum canister that you can reach through the wheel well which is down here shine a light shine it down here below yeah see that major line down there no right here yeah it's right there I see it right there you see it right there yeah I don't know where exactly where that goes I don't remember <laughs> should give you an idea just a generalized idea of where your vacuum lines go if you've pulled the intake off or something like that because you had to get to the, the rear coil, the rear ignition coils on mm -hmm. the back because I understand you can't even touch, oh. you can't even touch those without removing this plenum right here which is one, two, three, four bolts. We also got this here, two lines this way that seem to be going to these switching valves. Oh yeah, they go... These two lines right here go underneath right here Across. to the bottom. Come over here. Under the battery tray. There is another canister under the battery tray. And those, those two lines go there. There yeah. it is right there. Right. And those two lines plug in right there. Those do matter. They have a white band.
and then there's a white band up here. So that white band hooks to the top one on that white band to match. <clears throat> Those do matter. I remember that. Uh, yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty much the layout of the first gen generation of the 1MZFE Toyota V6. Yeah, okay. 